Good afternoon, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Market Strategist with RJO Futures here on Wednesday, January 14th with some commentary here in the energy market. So let's get started. Big day in the energies here today. Uh, February oil, uh, we're up right now a little over $2.21, trading just over $48 a barrel. That's up about 4.8% here to the upside. So really seeing a reversal there. Uh, the high so far today is right around $49 a barrel, and that's pushing up right on the 10-day moving average. So we really want to keep an eye on that particular level. Brent's uh, firmer as well, but only up about $1.73. So check out that spread here. Starting to see that, uh, uh, you know, kind of kind of narrowing here. But I think we got some real potential there for this thing to start kind of pulling apart here. So you want to talk a little more detail? Give me a call on that one. Nat gas, big moves here of the day. Nat gas up 11 and a half percent. Feb Nat gas breaking three dollar, uh, running right through it up to around 328. Could be gunning for the gap on the charts. Uh, so traders, uh, uh, keep a watchful eye on that area. Complex following suit. Our Bob's up about seven cents. Heat's a little firmer, but not as much here. We're up just over a penny and a quarter. So all in all, great day here in the energy markets. Now, let's talk about some of the fundamentals here in the market. Uh, look at equities. They're actually made new lows here today and been weaker most of the day, and yet you're still seeing crude prices a little bit firmer. Dollar's reversed itself a little bit. That's been weaker. So I think that's certainly lending a little bit of support here, obviously, to the oil market. EIA data came out this morning. Traders were really mixed uh, coming into that report this morning. API yesterday was reporting a bigger than expected uh, build than most traders were looking for. General consensus, traders are looking for about a build of about 1.5 million barrels. It came out at 5.4 million barrels, and yet the market has still been uh, moving higher, even in spite of that additional build. Now, a lot of traders, you know, are trying to ask themselves why. Well, I think, you know, you got to really take a look at this market. This oil market has been in such a major downtrend here, uh, you know, through most of December and so far through most of this month here. And I think you start to get some of these uh, moves here to the upside, and I think the shorts start to get, you know, the weak shorts anyway, start to get very nervous, really starting to see short covering. And I think that's what we have going on. Uh, I think if the market should happen to break around the 49.65 area basis, the Fab Oil, we're able to get a close above that look out shorts because I think you could see some strong upside action in the market possibly targeting the mid $50 range you know with that being said I'm not necessarily saying we're at a bottom there could be some more downside in store but you know I, I, I do think that you know if you're looking at the short side of oil at these levels here you got to be real cautious I do think there's going to be some opportunities, like I said, coming up here to the long side of that market. If you're interested in hearing about some ideas and some strategies, give me a call and we can talk more.